In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NaHCO3 plus HC2H3O2. This is sodium bicarbonate, and this is our acetic acid, sometimes called ethanoic acid. So the first thing we got to do is balance the molecular equation, which is nice because this is already balanced, so we don't need to worry about that. We do have to write the states for each substance, though. So if we look at NaHCO3, Sodium compounds are very soluble, so this is going to dissolve, dissociate into ions. It's going to be aqueous. When we get to this acetic acid, you need to realize whether this is a strong acid or a weak acid. And really, the best way to do that is just to memorize this list here. So when I look at my list of strong acids, I'm looking for this acetic acid, and I don't see it here. That means this is a weak acid. And since it's a weak acid, this is going to dissolve. It's going to be aqueous but it's not going to split apart into its ions, or just a little bit. So we need to remember that even though this will dissolve, it's not going to be a strong acid. It's going to be a weak acid. Okay, on the product side, we have another acetate here, so that's going to be aqueous. Carbon dioxide, that's a gas. Water is a liquid. So we have all the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That'll give us our complete ionic equation. So sodium on the periodic table, that has a one plus and the bicarbonate ion, the whole thing is one minus. So we can split this apart into Na plus and I'll write aqueous at the end. Let's not do that right now. And then the bicarbonate ion, HCO3 minus. Remember we said this was aqueous, but it wasn't a strong acid. That means it's not a strong electrolyte. It's a weak electrolyte and we're not gonna split it apart into its ions. We only split the strong electrolytes. So this is one you need to memorize in that table. That's real helpful to help you do that. So we're just going to write HC2H3O2. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have a positive. The whole acetate ion again is negative. So we'll have Na plus plus this whole acetate ion here, C2H3O2. And then we'll have carbon dioxide. We don't split gases apart and we don't split liquids apart. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we're going to cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So I can see here in the reactants, I have Na and in the products, Get rid of that. As I'm looking here, I see I forgot to put the negative up here. I want to make sure I do that. But still, everything's unique. So this is our net ionic equation for sodium bicarbonate plus acetic acid. Let me clean this up, write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for the sodium bicarbonate plus acetic acid. Note that charge is conserved. We have this negative here in the reactants and we only have a negative in the products. So that balances out. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for NaHCO3 plus HC2H3O2. Thanks for watching.